Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's Anelli here. Hey, what's going on, everybody? How are we doing? Matt Antonelli here, answering your questions today. Today's question is on steroids, and do steroids actually make you a better hitter? Anytime I'm talking with people, having a debate about different players, uh, and the topic of steroids comes up, most people, or a lot of people, will say, yeah, but Matt, steroids don't make you a better hitter. Right? Most people just say, oh, it helps you with recovery, but it's not gonna help you become a better hitter. You can't just take steroids and learn how to hit. So let's talk about that. Let me give you some examples. Um, not that I ever personally took steroids, but I know a couple players that did, um, and I just wanna talk about what steroids actually can do for you, and let's just get into this topic in general. Okay, so here's the first thing. And I totally agree, if you take steroids, it's not just gonna magically make you become this amazing hitter. If you can't hit, then steroids aren't gonna make you hit. That's, uh, we all know that, right? I'm not gonna be able to go to Gold's Gym and just take four or five dudes out of there that are on steroids and humongous and say, hey guys, you guys can play in the big leagues. You guys are on steroids, let's go play in the big leagues. Obviously that's not going to happen. We, I know that, we all know that, okay? But that's not what we're talking about. We're talking, when we're talking about steroids and hitters, whether it's Barry Bonds or Jose Canseco or anybody, anyone, Alex Rodriguez, anyone that's tested positive or you just say, whoa, that dude's, that dude's on steroids right there, okay? Let's talk about major league hitters. So when you're already a very, very good hitter, okay, and you take steroids, it's going to make good hitters great hitters. It's going to make great hitters maybe some of the best hitters of all time. That's what we're talking about. So many people always say, Duh, he didn't hit better because of steroids. It doesn't make you a better hitter. Like, we're not talking about horrible hitters becoming the greatest hitters of all time. But in a lot of these cases, you're talking about guys that if they didn't take steroids, they would have still played in the major leagues. A couple of them did play in the major leagues before they took steroids. But they were really, really good players. And then once you take steroids, you have a chance to become an amazing player. One of the greatest players of all time, perhaps, okay? So let's talk about why that is first off. What do steroids actually do for you? How can they help you in a major league season? Okay, the first thing, when I think of players taking steroids, um, recovery is gonna be a huge thing for, for those players, okay? So we've talked about it before. The major league season is really, really long, okay? And no matter how many times I talked about, about this to people, they always say, yeah, suck it up, pansy. It's not that long, you get paid millions of dollars to play baseball. Absolutely you do. But it doesn't mean that the season isn't long and it's grueling and it takes a toll on your body. You get to spring training in February. You're gonna play almost every single day from February, and if you make the playoffs, sometimes you're playing almost until November, okay? So it's a really, really long season, all right? There's a lot of travel, there's just a lot of games, and although baseball isn't technically a contact sport, if you do something pretty much every single day, you're gonna get banged up, your body is going to hurt, okay? In my entire career, whether it was my short time in the major leagues or minor leagues, it is very difficult to get through an entire season healthy and feeling good. The only day you feel really good, usually the only day you feel pretty much 100% is the first day of spring training. And after that, something is usually bothering you, okay? So guys that are able to take steroids, for one, recovery, their body is gonna feel better. They're gonna be able to lift and work out more. So one of the hard things when you're playing is not only are you beating yourself up every single day playing, but you also have to maintain, if you wanna keep some of that strength, right? If you, weigh, if you go into the season weighing 210 pounds, if you wanna exit weighing 210 pounds, which is really, really difficult, and exit with the same amount of muscle mass on you, which is almost impossible, it pretty much is impossible, you have to be able to work out a little bit, or hopefully, you know, a lot. But it's really tough. If you take steroids, well, I can recover faster, my body feels better, I can get workouts in and still feel pretty good the next day after working out. I've got a lot more energy. That's one of the reasons why greenies or amphetamines were so popular in baseball for a real long, long time, is because just trying to get through a season and get up for every single game and have the energy to play day in and day out was a really big deal, right? And it's really difficult, so players would try to cheat with it. 
Well, steroids helps you do pretty much the same thing. It makes your body feel good. You don't feel as banged up. You're gonna feel 100% every day? No, but if you can make yourself, instead of feeling 60%, if you can make yourself feel 85%, that's a huge advantage if you're able to do that, okay? So that's the first thing, body, just recovery-wise, all right? Let's talk about then just becoming a much better athlete or more explosive athlete, bigger, faster, stronger. Everybody knows that's what steroids does, okay? So again, if you're already a really good player and now you're able to be bigger, stronger, and faster, there is no doubt that you're gonna be even better, okay? So no, it's not gonna help you physically hit better, right? If you can't hit, then you can't hit. But if you can hit and you take steroids, then you're really gonna be able to hit, okay? Let's just talk about speed, strength, you know, bigger, stronger, faster real quick. All right, again, I never took steroids in my life, so I don't know how much bigger, stronger, faster I would have been with steroids, okay? But just getting bigger and stronger and faster are going to help you hit a lot more home runs. Here's my example personally, okay? If you look at my career, when I made the biggest jumps in strength, power, speed, all that stuff, it was pretty much going from high school into college. Those college years are where my body really continues to develop. So I went into college at about 185 pounds. I left college at 215 pounds. So I played 215 pounds my junior year. I entered at 185, okay? So I put on an awful lot of weight, right? I really was able to work out more. Plus I'm going from an 18 year old kid to 21 years old. So that's kind of the prime stage for me to be able to get bigger, stronger, faster, all right? When I went into college, and let's not even talk about games, okay? Even though I hit way more home runs in games. I hit two home runs my, my freshman year, okay? I'll tell you games real fast. Two home runs my freshman year. My junior year, I hit 11. I think I hit 10 at the halfway point. So I kind of fell off at the end. I started to really lose a lot of my weight and my strength. But when I was 215 pounds, I could hit way more home runs, okay? So that's just looking at, at strength gaining, gaining a lot of weight. And a lot of it was really good muscle weight. I wasn't like, it wasn't like I just put on a ton of fat, okay? But let's talk about BP, just how, how hard you can hit the ball and how much further the ball can go. My freshman year, I had a tough time at the beginning being able to hit a lot of home runs in batting practice. I didn't hit very many at all, okay? My junior year, when I was 215 pounds, I felt like I could just get up there and just flick the ball and the ball would go out of the park my junior year because I had 30 extra pounds on me. I was bigger, I was stronger, I was faster, okay? my swing Did my swing change a little bit? Yeah, my swing changed a little bit, but I was really, really big and strong, and when you can swing the bat faster, you're gonna hit the ball harder, you're gonna get more hits, right? The ball's gonna go through the infield harder, you're gonna hit more doubles and triples, can you drive the ball through pe over people's heads, you're gonna hit more home runs, because the ball's gonna, like I said, you hit the ball faster, it's gonna go further, all right? And you're able to hit home runs. So it doesn't take a genius to know that steroids, or getting bigger, stronger, and faster, I should say, are gonna make you hit the ball further, which is gonna make you a better hitter, right? And everyone knows that steroids are gonna make you bigger, stronger, faster, okay? So hopefully that all makes sense. Again, I'm not saying that if you can't hit that you'll all of a sudden be able to hit just because you're bigger and stronger or faster. I'll give you another example. My, let's see, in 2007, I had the best year of my career. I probably weighed usually right around that 210 pound mark when the season started, okay? I hit 21 home runs that year. My swing was really locked in, I was, I, I came in like I normally did, around the 210 pounds, so I am pretty big and strong and fast. So when my swing was working, I hit really, really well. Now, the next year, I talked to a couple of people in the front office, well, one person, and they wanted me to come in bigger and stronger and even faster than I was the year before, which I always tried to do. So I put on a lot more weight. I came in at 223 pounds, okay? Here's the thing, I came in really, really big. Um, I ate a lot of Chinese food that off season. So it wasn't all the best weight, but I was definitely really strong. I mean, in the weight room, I could, I, I could bench more, squat more than I ever had in my life, right? I was really, really big. I came in that year, my swing kind of fell apart on me. Now, I was big and strong and fast, but I didn't have a good swing that year. I hit seven home runs. So this is where I'm talking about. It's not, if you can't hit, if you don't have a good swing, then being big and strong and fast obviously isn't going to help you very much. But if you can hit, if your swing is really good, if you're Barry Bonds, if you're one of those guys and you've got a great swing and you've been a great player your whole life, and now all of a sudden you get bigger, stronger, faster, that's when you're gonna be able to explode and be you know, one of the greatest players of all time. So hopefully that all makes sense for you guys. That's my view on steroids. 
Um, let me know in the comment section below your views on steroids. Uh, if you have any more questions, let me know down there. Subscribe to the channel, give the thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. Share the video with all your friends. Uh, check the description box below. We've got a bunch of stuff down there going on. We've got a deal going on with Plate Trade. We've got a link to our Patreon page where you can support the channel. We've got a bunch of other stuff, so check that out. And that's all I got. Thanks again, guys. I appreciate it. And we'll talk to you later.